Elemental analysis has been around for many years. It's traditionally been used in fields like uh, environmental detection and monitoring, pharmaceuticals, geology, mineralogy. Um, more recently, though, it's become important in looking at nanomaterials. Um, so, for example, um, silver nanoparticles now play a big role in uh, different types of um, clothing. It provides antimicrobial properties. So if we can determine the elemental composition in these nanomaterials, then we can um, determine the amount of silver that's going to be present in them. Here at Northwest, we've got um, several different instruments that help us in an uh, elemental analysis. Uh, we have an atomic absorption spectrometer, which can analyze a single element at a time. But on the other hand, we've also got a big workhorse called the inductively coupled plasma optical emission spectrometer. This instrument actually is, is pretty neat because you can analyze up to 70 elements at the same time in a given sample. So you can get a lot of information from just one sample. X-ray fluorescence is used to determine metal elements and their metal oxides from powdered rocks, soils, and minerals. X-ray powder diffraction is used to determine structural information on materials, as well as providing some utility in determining elemental composition. The carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, and sulfur analyzer examines the percent of each of these elements from powdered samples, such as tires, rubbers, and pharmaceuticals.